arms extended to a lost. And that's what John and Peter did on the day they went up at the ninth hour for the hour of prayer. They became God's hand extended. Amen. And the Bible says this beggar that had laid there hurting day after day, watching religious hypocrites go into church and have their hour of prayer and talk about how holy they are and how close to God they are and walk right past him on their way out, leaving him in the same shape he was in whenever they went into the church. Probably didn't even pray for him whenever they were in there. It was probably one of those, oh my, 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 give me, give me, give me prayers that they had. Amen. Instead of praying for somebody else. But Peter and John go up to the hour of prayer and it wasn't just a religious ceremony for them. They had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and that light that was inside of them shone forth into the darkness that this old crippled man had at the gate beautiful. And before they were done, Peter would say, silver and gold. Honey, I ain't got no money for you this morning, but I got Jesus. I got what you need. Amen. Listen, you may think you're broke and poor. Hallelujah. As a church mouse this morning. Come on. But if you got Jesus, you got what they need. Amen. If you got Jesus, you got what they need. He fastens his eyes on John and Peter. Yeah. And the Bible says he's going to ask alms. Amen. And the Bible says Peter fastened his eyes on him. Most Christians probably didn't get no eye contact with him. Come on. Really? They afraid if they did, they'd feel convicted. Oh my goodness, I'm here to preach with them back to you. They's afraid that if they had it, if they had got it, if I look at them, I might feel a little conviction. Amen. Yeah. I don't want to see that stuff. I don't want to see the hurting and the dying. Because if I do, I'll feel bad because I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Can I say it again? I ain't doing nothing to help reach the lost and the hurting and the dying today. Come on, brother. But the Bible says, Peter fastened his eyes on him. And I believe that when he looked on him, he felt the same compassion that Christ felt when he looked on the people of those cities and those villages. And he was moved to compassion. And he saw those whose hearts fainted and they didn't have a shepherd. And the Bible says that Peter fastened his eyes on him and said, look on us. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. Look on us. Amen. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from them. Mm. Now the man might have expected money. More than likely, he probably did. But if he knew who Peter and John was, he might have expected a little more. He might have thought, oh, wait a minute. That's some of them Jesus people. And now they're paying attention to me. Maybe today I'll get some of that healing I've been hearing about. Maybe today I'll feel some of that strength I've been hearing about. Maybe today I won't go home weeping and crying because I'm still in the same old pitiful shape that I've always been in and nobody cares. Peter says, look at us. Look on us. And then he says this, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. I give, give by thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Now listen to what Peter does next. Peter touches him. Amen. Verse 7 says he took him by the hand, the right hand, and lifted him up. Yeah. We need some people that ain't afraid to touch people. That's right. We need some people that are not sin. That's exactly whenever Peter stretched out his hand, that was God's hand extended. Yeah. And he grabbed him by the right hand mm -hmm. and he lifted him. We need some people to lift people up today. Yeah. We got enough people putting each other down. Come on. Amen. Can I say it again? We got enough people putting each other down. Amen. I got enough people I run across that make me feel worse than I did when I met them. All right. Amen. Come on. We need some people today. That'll be God's hand extended. Yeah. That will lift up those that are hurting and dying. Come on. Lift them up. That's right. Lift them up. Lift them up. Come on. What are you talking about, Brother Billy? I'm talking about being a worker in the field. Yeah. I'm talking about being a part right. of the body of Christ. I'm talking about caring about people. I ain't talking about your stupid, stinking religion. I'm talking about caring about people. All right. Jesus did. Amen. I'm talking about being moved with compassion instead of judgment. Yes, sir. I'm talking about being moved by love instead mm. of hate. Come on. I'm talking about letting Jesus love through us. Yes. Live through us. Amen. Help through us. Come on. Oh my goodness, church. I don't know about you, 
that I need to spend some time saying, God, let me be more like that. Let me be more like that. Yeah. And less like me. Come on. Because I don't like those feelings I have. Praise God. I don't like, when I look at somebody, I don't like that thought that pops up thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to go over there. I don't want to have nothing to do with Come that. On. I don't like those thoughts that because it's a bad part of town, I don't want to move there. Yeah. I want to look for a place in a bad part of town so I can take Jesus to them. All right. Amen. Praise God. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. How many times you heard somebody say, I don't want to live in that neighborhood? Mm. Amen. Jesus. I don't want to live in that neighborhood. Uh -huh. People be saying the same thing about you if somebody hadn't shared Jesus with you. That's right, brother. We need some people today that'll be a light. Come on. We need some people today that'll share Jesus with yes, a lost sir. and dying world. The Bible goes on to tell us that that man, <clears throat> Peter took him to the right hand, he lifted him up, and immediately his feet and his ankles received strength. That's right. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, yeah. walking and leaping and praising God. Praise the Lord. You see, when they see God's, and I'm closing, I promise. When they see God's hand extended, mm -hmm. that'll cause them to want to come with you to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Now, I ain't saying they'll do it. And I'm not saying that you're doing a bad job if they don't. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that'll give them more of a desire right. to come where you're going. Come on. This man probably had never been inside the temple. That's right. Oh, he got to the gate, but as far as he'd go. Yeah. Imperfect. Right. Not right. Come on. Can't go in. But when these two men that cared enough to help him, cared enough to stop by, cared enough to pray for him, cared enough to check on him, the Bible says he got up and went with them. Come on. We passed right over that, don't we? Yes, sir. He got up and went with them, leaping, shouting Praise for joy. God. Oh, shouting Praise for joy. I wonder how them religious people felt in. They's all in there saying, Oh, God, Father of the universe. Mm -hmm. They hear this commotion coming in the back door, Brother Sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's Peter and John, and it's that old cripple man. Praise God, I ain't crippled no more. <laughs> oh. They could have been God's hand extended. Mm -hmm. They were too busy. Too religious. Too holy. That's right. They, too, were, they weren't out there working the field. That's exactly right. They weren't out there working the field. Come on. Mm -hmm. Too heavenly minded. Too earthly minded. Oops. Yeah. Too earthly minded to be any heavenly good. We ain't got no people too heavenly minded to be any earthly good. <laughs> huh. Amen. Oh, we got hypocrites and we got self righteous people. Don't get me wrong, but that ain't going to do with heaven. All right. See, that's the kind of that's, that's the way they used to describe people that was full of their self, righteously, you know. Mm. Thought they did. it. Bag of chips and a dip, Brother Smith used to say. They say, well, they're too heavenly minded. No, they wasn't. Their mind too full of hell mm. to help anybody. Come on. Heaven ain't got nothing to do with right with, with self righteousness. Mm. Heaven ain't got nothing to do with being a hypocrite. Yeah. Heaven is the kingdom of God and you reach it out to a lost and hurting world. All right. Amen. Come on. I guarantee you, when we get to heaven, ain't gonna be no self righteousness up there. That's right. Lucifer done tried it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Lucy done tried that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a living testimony of what happens to you if you go to heaven self righteously. Yeah. <laughs> so today, please, let us pray. Lord, send workers to the field, and let us pray. Lord, let one of those workers be me. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Oh, I hope you got something this morning out of the Word of God. I tell you what. Hallelujah. I ain't done. But we're going to close for today. Hallelujah. Somebody else have something this morning?